At a mobile vaccination centre on Friday, hosted by the Health and Education Ministries in collaboration with the Teachers' Union, Namibians from all backgrounds shared how they overcame their doubts about getting the jab. Don't lose the social media. They're full of crap and that's not the way to go. And the reason why I'm getting the vaccine is because um, previously I was misinformed. I thought there was something better about the vaccine, but I consulted two different doctors and they made me realise that um, our best chance of surviving this pandemic is through vaccination. And that's why I'm here and I'm also encouraging everyone who wants to be vaccinated to go ahead and do it. I am quite excited. It was a difficult decision to make, but the time came and I had to make it. How did you overcome your hesitancy? Um, I stopped listening to social media. I stopped taking in negative information and that helped me to overcome. Yeah, I'm vaccinated number one to protect my death because we are well informed that uh, even if I'm vaccinated, I can still get the uh, infection. But because my immune is, is, is boosted, then I prevent you know, critical you know, conditions. The science is there to help uh, humanity. And no scientific knowledge can lead uh, willingly to people to perish. The reason I came to get vaccinated is just because um, I want to just make sure that we reach herd immunity. Um, very few people like, are getting the vaccine and it's just due to a lot of misinformation that's happening and they don't know the benefits. And I've personally seen someone who is asthmatic, who got vaccinated and then got COVID, but because they were vaccinated, they didn't need any hospitalization at all. So it proves that the vaccine does work and it mitigates these un unnecessary deaths happening. So we just need to get vaccinated, get everybody on board. So that's why I chose to be here. Education is a, is a basic human right and for us we want our schools to open after the holidays safely, we want our teachers to be safe. We cannot afford for our kids to, to stay out of school much longer and we really need to be part of that. Uh, part of this uh, this process to, to really get our country back on track and, and stop the spread of COVID-19. I think that the fear and the taboos around it is really what's making people very scared and it's not necessary. My personal philosophy really is if you don't take it, there's a chance something bad can happen. You can get really sick and you can die. Um, if you do take it, there are obviously also chances that there might be side effects. but. Better err on the side of caution and, and safety than, than, than not protect yourself. We cannot just listen to rumors and things that are running around. It's important that we bring our part as the citizen of the country, as the responsible person. It's important that you decide and then you bring your part and get the vaccine. a lot of things that is confusing but one thing for sure that brought me here is because I thought of in the earlier uh, in the early 19th centuries or I don't know when but there was a polio outbreak there were so many diseases that broke out but the only way to mitigate or to, to assist the people to deal with such diseases that are coming up new diseases is through vaccination so I just thought for the well-being of myself and my kids, it's better I'm vaccinated and then I can stay healthy and help them better.